at the light on the Purin 2. You can see how cool this Winter 2 is from uh, Olight. I, I just love this color. It doesn't make the flashlight work any better. It's just cool. But when you put these two together, man, there's some serious light coming out. And it's wherever you need it, which is also pretty cool. All right, guys, if you're fans of the channel, you know that I am kind of an Olight collector at this point, and I love the different Olights. And part of that love is not only their performance, but the different colors and different schemes and different things I can get that happen a lot in their limited editions on the flash sale. Now they're going to have a flash sale basically starting today, the November 25th. They also have Black Friday coming up. So there's a ton of things that are happening. And if you are a VIP, you had access to this about a week ago in which uh, they had the Warrior Mini in this winter too that I absolutely love. Um, that this guy is getting about sold out. I guess there's gonna be a few left for the sale today, November 25th, but the reality is these are gonna probably sell out in five minutes. So if you're looking at this light, which the Warrior Mini has a tail switch, has a switch up in front, get in there, get it quick. If not, the SR or S2R baton is going to be basically the same light as this, same size, just no tail switch and that's gonna take its place, and I believe that'll go through Black Friday. I have a bunch of links in the description. If you don't wanna mess with all their sales, I do have a link down there and a coupon code for 10% off that you can get on any light that's not on sale, but obviously the sale lights are where it's at. Let's come in, I just wanna go over some of the colors and why I really dig some of this stuff and why, uh, you know, what options you might see. So when you're looking, you could look at it and then we'll go through the Warrior Mini at night. Uh, I also, you guys have been talking about headlamps. Uh, this is a big one, this is their Purin 2, which is nice for outdoors. They also make a Purin, which I have here. I haven't gotten into the headlamps much. This thing is nice, cause it's small. I can see where that's uh, very usable. This guy was big, but man, it rocked, I was surprised, and I didn't even really know I had it on my head. So we're gonna go over all that. Let's come in and look. So here are the basic colors for this flash sale that they have going on now, which this is a winter too. It is a matte silver finish, very, maybe a little grayish, very cool. I like the blue accents in it. It just seems to fit nice. They also have, it's summer too, which would be a bluish chrome, which, I'm not as into this, but it is easy to see at night. So that part of it is something I really like. The chrome finish is, uh, is really shiny. Also, a lot of the things that they're gonna have are gonna offer deals like on this IR2, uh, this EOS. This is a small rechargeable keychain flashlight. This is well worth it. If you get the option to pick up one of these that has two modes, high and low, it just works by turning the light. Great for keychains great for gifts. Then they have the i5T EOS, or uh, this is a bluish camouflage, which is different, right? But this is just a simple push button modes. It works great and uh, just takes, I believe this one has a double A inside. It, great, yep, great performance, great durability on this stuff and easy to use, don't have to worry about recharging. I keep these all over the place just in case I need them and don't have access to something else. They also have this orange color, which is more of a matte finish. This is their Purin 2. They have brown on the Purin. And I also have some of the, the green. This was a limited uh, M2R Pro Warrior. This, I think uh, olive green was out there. I don't know if this is coming back. It was a limited. Here's another, this is a, a matte gray that I have in a Warrior X Turbo. This light, if you ever get a chance to, have, to get your hands on one, if you want a thrower, I mean, this thing is just serious light. Uh, it is just absolutely intense, especially when you get it outside. We have a video on that one. Very, very cool and hard for cameras to pick up how long this throws in such a, a laser-like beam. So there's all kinds of stuff out there. Let's quickly walk outside and go over this Warrior Mini. Uh, this is again gonna be the same as their S2R baton that's gonna be out there. It just, the S2R is not gonna have a tail switch and I believe there's gonna be more of those available. 
just because a light has a super cool color does not mean that it's going to perform any better or any worse although it's really cool to have a lot of these colors i'm uh this winter too that we have out is absolutely amazing and if we shine back here let me just cruise through some modes hard to see i'm sure there's turbo mode i don't see any deer back there and i don't know how this is going to show up in the camera but and we have some corn out here easily lights up the whole field we can see across the field you can see into the trees that are a long ways away we're talking two three hundred feet easy i love this light i absolutely love this light and, and uh, not just because of the color not just because what you can do it's small it's compact it's pocket size and has a ton of power this light is pretty pretty cool let's just swing over to the barn this camera just doesn't do it justice but this light rocks it doesn't get any better to me than this warrior mini it's just the right size for me for everyday carry 1500 lumens lots of cool features with it i just love how everything works and it gives me a lot of options and it's not too big that's perfect for me it probably works for a lot of people i don't know if it's perfect for everyone the one thing that's taken me a long time to get into has been headlamps and I'm still, I, I'm learning and I'm getting there. In this headlamp, and this here's the box for the Purin that I bought before, uh, this little guy I've been using just to clip on my pocket at night and then when I walk I have a light that's facing pretty much forward and that's kind of nice. Uh, it just gives me something that's there in a different position rather than it shooting sideways across my body. But what I need to do is get out the headlamp situation because even on this Perrin 2, which is like huge compared to it, I learned, man, I, I may look like a complete idiot in this headlamp, but it is awesome as far as how it works, what I'm doing, and where I can put light where I want it and how comfortable it is. I'm probably blinding you guys, but either way, let's walk with this guy because I was super impressed with it. Here's an interesting light and probably an interesting way of viewing it through the camera. Usually I have the camera in front. Maybe if I put the camera behind my head, we can see. Uh, this is the Purin 2. And uh, I never thought a flashlight that's this large would be that comfortable to wear. And it's only on high. I don't have it on turbo. There's turbo mode. And bright I don't know how the camera's gonna pick this up uh, it's probably brighter than the warrior mini I mean this is amazing I, I now start to understand why some of you guys always tell me hey I wear a headlamp I get it um, I look funny in this I'm sure but look at that I mean just lights up the night I can imagine working with something this large I mean, it, it's not uncomfortable, but the normal Purin is much smaller. Oh, we got a little animal up here. Let's see. See the little eyes? Let's see what it is. Oh, maybe we won't. But wow, cool. I, I'm, uh, I could become a fan pretty quick of this headlamp. We got a little bunny in front of us. You can see his eyes, hopefully, and him running away. Well, maybe he's going to stay for a little bit. Very cool. So the colors of these lights don't affect their performance in, in simply how the headband and headrest looks on you doesn't affect how comfortable it is because this thing is very comfortable and would work for a lot of you guys working in different situations and give you light where it's needed and free up a hand or you wouldn't have to clip it on something or clipping something like this size onto your hat is quite large but still something that is possible they make a lot smaller lights than that something in this size so 
Tons of stuff to look at between this flash sale November 25th and the Black Friday stuff coming up. Again, if you don't want to deal with the whole mess of trying to fight and claw your way into getting one of these limited editions, there's a link in 10% off below. It's worth it to get in though and try. I know sometimes the shipping is a little bit slower when you have all kinds of people grabbing these lights and I would expect in this time period with this, uh, the deals and sales they have going, it might take them a little bit uh, to catch up because there's so many flashlights sold, but trust me when I say that these flashlights are worth the wait and the struggle in trying to go get them. I've got a ton of them at this point and I just thought I'd bring out a couple to show you and realistically at this point the colors in some way help me differentiate between the likes I, the lights I really like or what I want to carry that day or what's what and it just uh, kind of adds a little flair to what you're doing. So I appreciate your time guys. Give me a like in this video, subscribe to the channel, ask me any questions you want to know about some of these Olights. I wish you luck getting in on this flash sale and I hope you get something great for Black Friday. But talk to me in the comments about anything else that you guys are buying. Appreciate your time. Have a great day.